Greetings, YouTube. Today's story comes out of Phoenix, Arizona. One Fala Hassan Malaki is on trial for murder, though technically his crime has a more specific term. The turn of phrase is an honor killing, though that would probably be a oxymoron, because what he did was not honorable. You see, He's on trial for murdering his own daughter, running her down with his jeep. And why did he murder her as his own daughter? Because he felt that she had become too westernized for his taste. So rather than talk with her, or sever connections with her, or any number of other options available to any civilized individual, he decided he was going to murder her instead. Yeah. Now, I'm sure that um, Amalaki is going to use Islam as his justification for committing this crime. And there are going to be many people who see this or are probably going to agree with him. But I don't think religion has anything to do with this case. I really don't. What I think it, it's all about is a social structure, a cultural background where patriarchal society is really strongly rooted, where the father is not just the head of the household, an archaic concept in and of itself, but the actual dictator of the household. Now, I have some experience with that. My father was the dictator of his household. He was a psychotic drunk. My father didn't use religion to justify his actions. He didn't use any justification whatsoever. He didn't need to. If things didn't go the way he wanted, he'd scream at you or beat you. It was pretty simple. Uh, no one was killed, unfortunately. Uh, and I, I luckily only bear a couple of physical scars. It's the emotional and psychological ones that I still carry around and am still working on. But this man, in this Phoenix case, went one step farther. He decided that Someone who stepped out of line in his family, specifically a woman that stepped out of line in his family, just could not be tolerated. So he killed her. Now I believe in total and utter equality, that all people should be treated equally, regardless of sex, gender, orientation, political, religious, sports affiliation, it doesn't matter. That everyone should be treated equally under the law. I'm a feminist. I believe that all people should be treated equally under the law. So I have a problem when someone who, from a very patriarchal culture decides that his worldview is so important that he's willing to kill for it. So I'm hoping he is found guilty in this case, and I hope they throw the book at him. I would love if they put him in jail forever so that he never again sees the light of freedom. Because he doesn't deserve it. And again, I know that people are going to blame Islam. But if Islam had never existed, these kind of crimes would still take place. You don't need Islam for this, folks. I remember a story I once heard concerning the British rule of India. At the time, Burning a widow alive with her husband's corpse was a common practice. And the British outlawed it. And the Indian people said, but well, it's our tradition. And the response of the governor general of the area said, well, it's our tradition to hang people who burn others alive. You build your pyre, we will build our gallows next to it. Funny the burnings dropped off significantly. Some cultural relics we don't need, and this is one of them. But you don't need Islam to do it. What you need is a strong social structure that needs to be changed. There are people in America that are too patriarchal. And there aren't a whole lot of uh, Muslims in America, at least not native-born. I hope this man's found guilty. I hope he goes to jail. I hope people can see this for what it is, a crime. 
not a comment on Islam, but a crime. A relic of an old, bygone age that we need to get rid of, that we need to outgrow, that we need to show the world, all the world, that we just don't need.